West Ham fan TV, still outside the London Stadium. 3-1 when it gets Manchester United. When you woke up this morning, you could only dream of a result like that. Was you expecting it? Well, I knew that Man United were on a poor run of form. Uh, obviously, I'm glad that we can keep that going for them. But I didn't expect them to be as uh, shocking in defence as they were today. You know, you look at their defenders, you know, you've got Smalling. You know, they didn't even have Bailly playing. He'd be playing, I would say, every week if he was here. But thankfully, I'm very confident uh, Balbuena and Diop and other defenders. But if I have to look at our uh, performance, you know, to just go 1-0 up so quickly, you know, you're buzzing. Obviously, you got 90 minutes in a game. I was still a bit nervous. Then um, we did go 2-0 up. Thank God for that. Uh, I mean, that deflection. deflection, yeah. I mean, I th initially thought it just went in clean, but there you go. You so, sometimes when you play uh, the big teams and you get an early goal, sometimes that can work against you. But today yeah, it just spurred everyone on, didn't it? Spurred the whole club on. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the fans were right behind the team. Uh, I think that this is what Pellegrini wants. You know, I think now the players are getting into his system. They are getting into his way of playing. It did take a while, you know, the Wolves game, the Bournemouth game. But I think now we are starting to play the Pellegrini way. You know, we are getting into the face of the big teams that we used to be shy from. Uh, so, yeah, I think looking forward, if you look towards the season, I think we could push towards Europa League spots, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, mean, I don't see why not. I love West Ham fans saying, look at Burnley this season, you know. They did badly in the league and they did badly in Europa League. But I think if we can keep going, we can also recruit next summer in other positions. I don't see why not. Yeah, also, definitely. you know, uh, if you look at our attacking, uh, you know, Arnautovic, I think without him, we are not as we are not a weak team, but I think we do rely, rely on him a lot. He does bring other people into play, and I think he does give a lot of defenders a big headache. He's got him, that him and Aunt Anatovic and Yarmolenko are starting to get a little yeah, combination going as well. They work well together, don't they? And then you've got that added, you know, you've got Anderson there as well. And it's, it's, a good, it's, it's good to see. It's good to come over here and, you know, you know, we're turning up today expecting to beat Manchester United. Down the years, you know, we'd be happy with nicking a draw against them. But right. we were so confident today of actually getting a win. Yeah, I'd say so. And, you know, you've got Lanzini, who's still yet, yet to return from injury. Hernandez, I hope he could be a lot better when he comes back. He still is a world-class finisher. We need to keep this player at the club. But I think, you know, as you said, getting into the face of the big teams, showing them that we're not going to be walked over as we were in the past, you know, just showing them that we can actually fight in this league, not just stay here and celebrate that. We can actually push on and be um, ambitious. Mate, well, we're know? all happy amateurs tonight. We'll go on, Definitely. but thank you so much for joining us, thank mate. So Take much. care. Appreciate Safe journey it. home, mate. Thank you.